Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Skia Khan, currently working as assistant professor in Army Institute of Education. And today I'm going to teach you on the topic types of assessment. So my topic is types of assessment. So there are different types of assessment like diagnostic assessment, formative assessment, summative assessment, norm reference assessment, and criteria reference assessment. So uh, today I'm going to discuss about all these types of assessment in detail. So first we are going to discuss about diagnostic assessment. So whenever you feel ill or you feel weak, then what you do, you visit a doctor and a doctor diagnose your illness. So similar is the case with teacher. Whenever a new students come in a class, then the teacher do diagnosis. That means teacher diagnose whether the students are all fit for learning because there are some students who are weaker in a particular area. So teacher do a diagnostic assessment to find out the level of the students, that what level they have. So teacher try to find out that which student is weaker in which area so that she can plan her future teaching strategies according to that. So it is a kind of pre-assessment before starting our teaching learning process. Teacher do this pre-assessment to find out uh, whether uh, the student levels are same. And if some students are weaker, then she will work on them, that student according to the need. So it also helps in understanding the student's knowledge, their skill, their strengths, and their weaknesses. That means uh, teacher know that what level the students have, how much knowledge they have, and what is their weakness. So through this diagnostic and assessment, teacher can find out. So how to do this diagnostic assessment? So there are different tools. Like teacher can also ask oral questions. Through questioning, teacher can find out that how much the student know. Teacher can also give the test, like written test or objective-based test. So through the test by written or subjective or objective, teacher can find out. Through discussion, through discussion, teacher can find out that whether the students have the same level or there are some students who are weaker. And also by analysis of their work and most important by observation. By observation, teacher can judge that how the student is behaving in the class, how the student is feeling. So the observation is very important and teacher can find out that uh, if the student is facing some problem, then teacher can find out that the student is facing some problem. So teacher can work on that particular person uh, on that area, that how to strengthen that weaker area through this type of assessment. Now the next type of assessment is formative assessment. So it is formative assessment that is it is for the formation of your learning process so it this type of formative assessment takes place simultaneously with your learning process that means throughout the learning process this assessment goes on to find out that we are proceeding in a learning process and it is to find out that you are gaining the knowledge in the same way that means as we are proceeding further, it is to assess the student has learned or student had understood the previous concepts or not. So that it may not happen that teacher is proceeding to the complex topics and students are not familiar even with the simpler ones. So to keep with the pace up with the teaching uh, learning process, it is to find out whether the students are learning or at that pace or not. So teacher assess throughout the learning process. So if if teacher finds that student is weak in a particular area, then teacher can work at that point only to strengthen that area. So it helps in tracking students' performance. Now tools of formative assessment. So here different tools can be used for formative assessment like questionnaire, like debate, discussion, worksheets, and by essays. So there are different ways teacher can give like class test, teacher can give different types of experiments. So through all these techniques, teacher can give the formative assessment and can find out the performance of the student. Now, summative assessment. 
So summative assessment is the cumulative assessment. Like it is done at the end of the teaching learning process to find out whether the teaching learning process is successful or not. It is the assessment of learning. That means whatever the learning process has gone through, whether the student has picked up those concepts or not. So it is done always at the end of the session, like term and exam, like uh, uh, we give exams in the end, like final projects, dissertations. So it is always done at the end of the learning process. So there are different tools used for summative assessment, like standardized tests. So standardized tests are those tests which are meant for that particular group only. They are reliable and valid for that particular standard only, like exams created by examiner, unit test, final projects, etc. So they can be used for summative assessment. Now, our next type of assessment is norm reference assessment. As the name suggests, norm, that means it is according to the norm that means it is according to the performance like here if we are uh, judging uh, we are uh, taking a test of a particular group of students so here it is not that you have scored this much mark it is in comparison to the scores of all other students that means we are assessing you in comparison to the performance of other students in your class like uh, we say this this student tops in the class this student uh, ranks first in the class this student ranks second in the class that means we are assessing you in comparison to the performance of all other students in the class so that means we are ranking you according to the performance so it is the test which assess the performance in terms of the performance of all other students in that group like uh, in a competitive exams we take need exam so here also the selection is based on the merit which is in comparison to the scores of all other students who have appeared for that exam so it is related to the performance of all other students now our uh, next is criteria reference assessment so criteria as the name suggests we are assessing according to certain criteria here we are not concerned what other students have scored we are only concerned that whether our students are meeting that criteria or not suppose we have a criteria that a student will uh, will pass the exam if he score 40 percent marks so if he score 40 percent marks or above then only he is passed and if he score below that mark then he will be failed so this means that we are following particular criteria like in a seated exam if the person score more than 60 percent or 60 percent then he is qualified and if he score less than 60 percent then he is disqualified so this is the criteria difference assessment here we are assessing according to a certain criteria this is all what we have discussed in the types of assessment. I hope that you understand it. Okay, thank you.